Hi, and welcome to The Law Simplified. I'm Shaveen Bandad Nayaka. Whenever I start a fast track or a masterclass program with a student, the very first question I ask them is, what's the plan? What I mean by this is what the student intends to do with the qualification that he or she is pursuing. More often than not, I get one of two responses. Either the student simply wants to be on his feet, so to speak, uh, which essentially means that he or she wishes to become a solicitor or a barrister or a lawyer, depending on the jurisdiction that he or she is in. But on the other hand, some students simply tell me, I haven't figured it out yet. Now, if you fall into the first category, good on you, you're convinced about the trajectory or your career prospects, and this video might not exactly be for you. But if you fall into the latter category, someone who hasn't figured it out yet, or perhaps even a bit overwhelmed at the prospects available to you, then this video will provide you with three less likely aspects or avenues that you can pursue having completed your law degree. If you like the content that I produce and these videos have been insightful and helpful to you, make sure you give a thumbs up to this video and do subscribe to the Law Simplified channel. That being said, here are three career pathways that you may have not thought of but are on the one hand lucrative as well as interesting and intriguing in a number of different ways. Number one is teaching. Now the best example for this, I would have to say, is myself. Most of you might not know, but I started my career in the advertising industry, in media. And now, today, I find teaching as one of the most rewarding things that I've ever done in my entire life. I've had the opportunity and the privilege of teaching students from all around the world, understanding their needs and cultures as well and I've made a bunch of friends and colleagues along the way. Teaching and trying to harness the knowledge that you've accumulated in law and disseminating it throughout different jurisdictions has been one of the most rewarding experiences for me. And I highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys teaching others, as well as have not really figured out what they want to do with their legal qualification. Now, mind you, teaching might not be for you. But if you specialize and if you enjoy a particular subject area in law, the chances of you getting an opportunity either online or in the traditional brick and mortar context of a faculty in a university in your jurisdiction or abroad is highly likely. If you're good at understanding the law as well as communicating and helping others understand as well, Teaching the law might be a great career prospect or a pathway that you can pursue. Number two is an industry expert. Now, contrary to popular belief, most law students and most students who pursue a career in law are in fact passionate and might even have a qualification in some other area, such as software engineering, management, business, and so on. The great thing about this, and something that I have often seen when I've conducted my one-on-one -on -one fast track and masterclass programs, is how important this secondary, or in fact, in some instances, primary aspect that these students have are quite fulfilling when they couple it or supplement it as a value addition with the study of law. I've often said on this very YouTube channel, as well as the different platforms that the Law Simplified is disseminated on, that Law is less about what you know, but how you think. And the fact that you are already knowledgeable and are passionate in some other area would mean that following a legal course or following a law degree will be a great supplement and a value addition to it. Oftentimes, I have students who are into music or the arts or engineering or business, entrepreneurs for that matter, who have succeeded not just because of the area that they are passionate in, but because they've supplemented it with law. So apart from just being on your feet and becoming a barrister or a solicitor, you might want to actually pursue the area that you're passionate on. But one key thing that you need to keep in mind is when you select your law degree or the qualification that you're pursuing, make sure that it has sufficient specializations to harness that knowledge that you have. I've made a number of videos on this on this very YouTube channel as well. So I highly recommend going through 
career guidance, which is a playlist on this channel, as well as how to ace a law exam. I'll link a few on the description below, as well as it'll appear on the card up top. Number three is a judge. Now, most of the time, students tend to look at law in a very lucrative and a rewarding sense by considering becoming a barrister or a solicitor or even an arbitrator and going into as an industry expert, just like what we looked at a moment ago. But the judiciary actually provides something that pretty much no other aspect or pathway in law provides, which is structure. More often than not, a student that intends to study law and then pursue a pathway into the judiciary to becoming a judge has a tiered or a hierarchical structure that he or she can adhere to. And if you are comfortable in that setting, you can not only have a fulfilling career in the judiciary, but you will understand the value of your contribution to society as well. I have a number of past masterclass students who have gone on to enter the judiciary as judges. And if you are someone who finds fulfillment in contributing to society by adding to the discourse of the law and also contributing to crafting the law and the society in a manner that you are comfortable and you would want to see the society in, then I'd highly recommend pursuing a career pathway after your, after your qualification in the judiciary. Right, so three lesser pursued pathways, um, teaching, becoming an industry expert, or entering the judiciary as a judge. The reason why I thought of making this video as well is because the balance of the students that generally tell me they want to practice versus those who haven't figured it out yet is increasingly growing towards the latter. And that's partly because the prospects available to students are much wider now and the specializations awarded by degrees are also vast. So I hope this particular video gives you a little bit of a leg up and a bit of insight on lesser known career pathways in law. If you'd like to learn more about the law, make sure you visit the online law school, uh, which I'll link in the description below, as well as on a card that will appear up top. If you'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one fast track or masterclass program, as well as determine what exactly you should do in terms of your career pathway, something specialized for yourself, make sure you reach out through the links in the description below. I'd highly recommend going through the playlist, which is entitled Career Guidance, which is on this very YouTube channel as well, for other tips and techniques on how best to articulate what you should do in terms of your career moving forward. That being said, until the next time that we meet, have fun, stay safe, and as always, obey the law.